Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Uh oh, I don't have my lid open. Ah, okay. Today is Monday, May 6th. It's mostly cloudy right now. Currently it's 66 degrees. High today is going to be 73. Uh, and chance of rain 55%. It's every day. We got a chance like about that much every day. Uh, wind at five mile per hour. I got I got the uh, tomatoes out. I, I didn't get everything done. It was hot. Um, and I, I didn't want to wait and take a chance in it rain, but it was hot outside and sunny. And uh, I just I kept taking breaks. I, I would like put, maybe d dig the holes and put six of them out and then come back in for about a, an hour or something like that. And, no, it wasn't even that long, maybe 40 minutes or something like that. And uh, drank some uh, Powerade and uh, went back out. And I ended up, I had planned on putting 18 uh, tomato plants, but I just decided that it would be a little too crowded for the peppers if I put one more row. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I spaced the, the tomatoes a little bit further apart this year. Um, they'll still grow together and stuff, but um, they, they always do fine for me, even if they're. I, I, at one time, I had four in a row, <laughs> but the cages won't hardly fit side by side like that in a small row. Um, so I just put three per row and I got five rows <coughs> of tomatoes and then I decided to quit. And then today I'm gonna try to get all the peppers, um, at least 12, at least 12 bell peppers um, on the end there. And then that first bed will be done. And then I gotta start you know, cleaning up that, that one in the middle is in rough shape. Um, I'm just going to take everything off of it. It would be a lot easier to get to the, the weeds and stuff. So uh, that will be my next one. And then the other one is not, not real bad. The third one is not real bad. But I need to get the seeds in the ground now. You know, but I'm usually, I usually don't start uh, until around May 10th. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game. Today's just the 6th. Um, I really could have probably planted earlier, but you never know about the crazy weather around here. Um, it could it could still get real cold, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, today there'll be, I know I had a Kroger haul yesterday, and we had a big list of stuff uh, that was on sale and stuff, um, and then we, there were some things they were out of at, at that Kroger. So we, we really needed the waters, and they were on sale four, four cases for $10, which is $250. And that's really cheap for a case of water. So we decided to go to the Super Kroger and get the things that we, you know, uh, missed out on at the other one. And there was one thing that I was surprised that they didn't have at the new, uh, at the Super Kroger was these um, simple, I think they're called Simple Truth, um, uh, omelet bites they've got that are really, really good. They, they are. Um, they didn't, I didn't even see a place for them, and they had a, a digital coupon on them. <clears throat> and the other one was out of it except for they had um, ham and Swiss. I just didn't know if I'd like that or not, the little omelet bites. Like a, and one was just like three cheese or something. And the w other one has like, uh, I think it's got ham in it and bacon or something or sausage. It's got like two different meats in it and the cheese and stuff. It's really good. Um, so we didn't end up getting those at all because they didn't have them. And uh, another thing was uh, they were supposed to have, Kroger has a new um, breakfast bowl. It comes in a thing like a Michelina meal, but they, it's called a breakfast bowl. I don't know. Maybe they think you're going to put it into a bowl. But uh, those are really good, and they were supposed to have a multi-pack of them. I think they had three of them, and they had a $2 coupon off, a digital coupon, but neither one of them had the multi-pack. And Kroger, the one we usually go to, didn't have any of them at all. Uh, they, they, they haven't even got them yet. And the other, but the Super Kroger had individual packs of it. So we ended up getting a couple and trying them. They're way better than the Jimmy Dean or the Aldi one. They're really good. 
Okay, yeah, so that's what that is today. Super Kroger haul. What's for dinner? Um, I've got that uh, kill, Dave's Killer Bread, so I want to make sure we use it. It's That's not cheap stuff, but we did get it half price at Publix. But uh, we're going to have sandwiches and chips tonight. And jokes. Uh-oh, what do I do? Um... Here's some advice. At a job interview, tell them you're willing to give 110%, unless the job is a statistician. <laughs> Be like, okay, I'll give 100, because that's as far as you can go. Okay, three buildings in town were overrun by squirrels, the town hall, the hardware store, and the church. The town hall brought in some cats, but after they tore up all the files, the major got rid of of the predators and soon the squirrels were back. The hardware store humanely trapped the squirrels and set them free outside town. But three days later, the squirrels climbed back in. Only the church came up with an effective solution. They baptized the squirrels and made them members. Now they see them only on Christmas and Easter. Ooh, no you didn't. Thought of the day is from Jasper Ford. Lost in a good book. I'm not really sure what that is. I would so hate to be a first-person character. Always on your guard. Always having people read your thoughts. Okay. All right. And what was that? I was going to... I saw one. I think it was this one up here. We'll see. Play classic mode. And my, my allergies are still nuts i mean that makes it makes my nose i mean my nose itches and stuff and my eyes itch and it just i don't know it's it almost like it affects my vision or something okay <clears throat> but yeah my, even my ears pop sometimes i don't know if that's normal for allergies though but anyway what profession gave origin to the phrase feeling under the weather? Sailors, carpenters, tailors, traveling salesmen. Hmm. Sailors, carpenters, tailors, traveling salesmen. I think we might have had uh, this question on another. I hope the whole thing is not ones we've already done. Uh, it seems like we have this. It says general, though. I, I say it's sailors. Yeah, the idiom is typically used when people feel sick or ill. The origin of this is believed to come from when a sailor would feel sick, they would go below the front part of the boat to protect themselves from adverse conditions. Hmm. And the sailors who were sick were described as under the weather. Let's see what this next one says. Hmm, I don't... I'm not for sure if we've had this or not. Let's see. Uh, what does the expression to jump the gun mean? To act prematurely? To save money? To cheat? To wake up late? <laughs> act prematurely, save money, cheat, wake up late. It's to act prematurely. Yes. Idiomatic phrases originated with a literal use but are more often used figuratively to add a description to both the written and spoken word okay you know what i i really think we've done this before so i'm going to bail out before it gets too too many so just mark off those first two because I, I i recognize these so we're going to find another one okay how about, maybe this would be interesting. Or did we do this one? I remember something about this question, the first question. Hmm, I guess I've done so many of them, it's starting to, this might be interesting. We got the Olympics coming up sometime. I know we hadn't done this one, I don't think. Uh, let me go to the quiz and see. Which sport is considered the oldest competitive sport in human history? Fencing, bowling, archery, 
wrestling. Hmm, mm hmm. Is archery, I mean, is really, is it a sport? Fencing. I think they do fencing. In the Olympics? I think they might do fencing. Bowling. It's not going to be the oldest. Fencing, bowling, archery, wrestling. I'm going for wrestling. Yeah. The history of sports extends back to the ancient world in 70,000 BCE. Wow. Uh, the physical activity that developed into sports had early links with warfare and entertainment. Hmm. Cave paintings in the Bang Yang Hongari province of Mongolia dating back to the Neolithic age show a wrestling match surrounded by crowds. Hmm. Hulkamania! <laughs> Hmm. Okay, what, uh, next question. In what part of the body is the bone called the tibia? Skull, leg, arm, chest. Skull, leg, arm, chest. Now, I think we have had something like this question. I hope they put new ones out and I don't end up, uh, doing all of them and then having to do them and you know not finding the one that we hadn't done how about leg right the tibia is the bigger of the two bones in the lower leg the other is the fibula okay yeah I don't think we've had, had all these which muscle group is commonly referred to as the six pack Hamstrings, pectorals, quadriceps, abdominals, abdominals. Be like six pack. <laughs> Hamstrings. I don't. I don't have a six pack. <laughs> Maybe a one pack. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it though. <laughs> Hamstrings, pectorals. Quadriceps, abdominals, <laughs> abdominals. Uh, yes, the abdominal muscles are located between the ribs and the pelvis on the front of the body. The abdominals support the trunk, allow movement, and hold organs in place by regulating internal abdominal pressure. Right. How many times do they need to say that? Okay, what is another name for the ball in American football? Orb, <laughs> cherry, pigskin, cowhide. Throw me that orb. All right. <laughs> I'm getting ready to do the kickoff with the orb. <laughs> cherry, how about that? Uh... <laughs> you drop the cherry. Come on, some of them are so goofy. It, it, it's pigskin. I think everybody probably knows. Out of all the nicknames for a football, pigskin is probably the most popular. Footballs were originally inflated with the bladders of animals, eh, including those from swine. In later years, these animal bladders were placed inside the leather cover, giving them rise to the term pigskin. Good idea to put them on the inside instead of the out. Probably kind of smelly too. Uh, what do tendons help attach? I played plenty of football though in school. Uh, what do tendons help attach? Bone to bone, muscle to bone, muscle to muscle, bone to organs. Huh? Bone to bone? Uh, I don't think so. Muscle to the bone, tendons, tendons. Ligaments, too. I think it's muscle to muscle. No, I missed this one. Muscle to bone, so now I know. Tendons help attach muscle to bone. In the human body, a tendon is a fibrous connective tissue that helps attach muscle to bone. What sport did Joe DiMaggio play? Golf, baseball, hockey, tennis. 
I remember Joe. Uh, golf, baseball, hockey, tennis. It was baseball. Yep. Joseph Paul DiMaggio, November 25, 1914, March 8, 1999, nicknamed Jolton Joe, the Yankee Clipper, and Joe D. Was an American baseball center fielder who plays his entire 13-year career in Major League for the New York Yankee, Yankees. Wow. I'd say that's kind of unusual for them to play their whole career for one team. Bones are a part of which of the body's systems? <laughs> Cardiovascular, respiratory, skeletal, endocrine. <laughs> part of the cardiovascular system. No. It is, could be respiratory, skeletal, or endocrine. 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 But I say it is skeletal, you know, bones, skeleton. The skeletal system is the body's central framework. It consists of bones and connective tissue, including cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, six right and one wrong. The sport of triathlon combines swimming, cycling, and what? Rowing, shooting, javelin throw, running. It is a uh, rowing, shooting, javelin throw, running. It is running. Yes. A triathlon is an endurance multi-sport race consisting of swimming, cycling, and running over various distances. Seven right, one wrong, two more. Which of these sports doesn't require equipment to handle the ball? Tennis, cricket, basketball, baseball. I'll tell you what, if you tried to play, uh, if you tried to play baseball without a glove, you'd be hurt. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine playing tennis with a, uh, <laughs> with your hands, I mean, <laughs> or cricket, but it, it, basketball is a different story. In basketball, the players advance the ball by bouncing it while walking or running, and I played that in school too, or by passing it to a teammate, which both of which require considerable skill. It's a violation to lift or drag one's pivot foot without dribbling the ball to carry it or to hold the ball with both hands and then resume dribbling. Yeah, I played every sport I could. Baseball, basketball, uh, football, even uh, volleyball. Played volleyball. Okay, next question. I got this. This is the last one. Where are the quadriceps located? Fingers, thighs, neck, arms. I'm not really for sure. Fingers, thighs, neck, arms, but maybe the thighs. Yes. Uh, your quad muscles or quadriceps femoris are a group of muscles at the front of your thighs. There we go. Nine right and one wrong today. Not too bad. Uh, it was different, at least. I mean, I'm, I'm going to start having to screen them a little bit before and see if... Um, if we've had them you can't tell though because you have to actually just start answering questions you know for it to keep going to the next question and i can't really tell i could always do a couple look at a couple and see if i recognize the questions and then just pick another one after that because you don't want to do the same thing over and over um you want some new stuff but there's so many of them that's i get you wouldn't believe how many many how many emails I get with uh, quiz things now, trivia stuff. It's going crazy with it. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that 
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning, and definitely check out the Super Kroger Hall later on today. Bye, everyone, and God bless.